Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be looking at more Am I Wrong stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. Am I wrong for accidentally being fat phobic? I hosted a birthday dinner for my best friend, Anna, the other day. I invited all her close friends, made the cake, made a ton of food I knew everyone could enjoy, and decorated the place with all her favorite things. I was exhausted, and honestly, all that cooking kind of killed my appetite. So when everyone was eating, I only had a couple things before putting my plate away. One of their friends, let's call her Sarah, noticed and asked what was wrong. I told her I just don't have that much of an appetite, but please don't stop on my account. I made all this food so enjoy your heart's content. She didn't say anything, just nodded and walked off. Then we moved on to games and everyone had a blast, until it was time to cut the cake. The cake was delicious and people were gobbling it up, as they should because it was amazing. I only took a few bites of cake before putting it away and Sarah once again walked up to me. She talked about how good the cake was and how everyone was downing it. I laughed and told her I was super happy everyone was enjoying it and I wish I could down my piece like everyone else, but I just finished a whole bottle of Mexican Coke earlier so a few bites were all I could stomach right now. She went off on me. She started yelling at me about how I shouldn't have called her fat. I don't think I did though, and that I should be ashamed of making people feel guilty about eating. And I came over to calm Sarah down because now everyone was staring and wondering what was happening. Are you kidding me? Sarah! Like why was Sarah mad? This person was like, yeah, I wish I could but I'm full. You're calling me fat! I tried to reach out to Sarah but she stomped off. Anna looked at me confused and I just shrugged before telling everyone to continue as they were. The party eventually kicked back off. I tried to text Sarah to come back and apologize, but she just left me on red. Now, a few days later, Anna's friends refused to talk to me. Sarah has spread the word that I'm fat phobic and everyone is eating it up. I know I'm not as close to them as Anna is, but it still hurts that they seem to believe Sarah so easily without attempting to understand the whole situation. My best friend tried to explain to them that it was a simple miscommunication, but no one seems to be listening. The only thing that apparently helped the situation is a full-blown apology from me in person to Sarah. Sarah's words to my friend, but I really don't think I did anything wrong. Yeah, I would not be apologizing. Effort. <laughs> Your insecurity is not my problem, right? Like, why should I apologize for something that you're insecure about? Like, I didn't call you names. Like, don't freaking put words into my mouth because I didn't say shit, all right? Piss off. Some people want to start drama for no reason. You ain't getting it, <laughs> honestly. If someone wants to start drama with me, blocked. I texted Anna throughout all of this and apparently Sarah has been going around and telling the friend group a completely different story than what happened. That's why they've been icing me out. From what Anna can gather, she's been saying I was the one who went up to her and made comments about how much she's ate, which never happened. I'm over this petty drama, so I just texted everyone in a group chat and let them know that they can believe what they want. For what it's worth, Anna is 100% on my side since she knows I'm not the type to police who eats what. I'm graduating soon with my uni degree, so I have better things to worry about. Dude, these people are like in university, so they're like in their 20s, early 20s. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Why? Why would you still want to start drama at that age? Like, chill. <laughs> chill, like, seriously, you guys have better things to worry about. Oh my god. How does I don't have an appetite, I can't eat anymore become you called me fat? You know what? I guess I can see why some people think like that if they're very, 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 very insecure about themselves. Because insecure people, they do think all the eyes are on them. So if we say something like, I can't eat anymore, they'll be thinking, oh, you're calling me fat. You're calling me that I shouldn't eat anymore. Man, that's freaking tiring, man. Jeez. Yeah, I, I wouldn't care because that's not even my friend group. <laughs> okay, as long as my best friend is on my side, I'm all Gucci. Like, I don't need you guys. Like, I made all this food for you guys. If you guys block me off, good. I don't have to plan all this again for you guys. Am I wrong for correcting my mom when she calls my son my baby? I got pregnant when I was 17. She tried to bribe me into an abortion by offering me a new car. I had worked since I was 14 and already bought myself an old accord. She told me I wouldn't amount to anything. My then boyfriend broke down and told me he loved me and wanted me and the baby to be a family. I already knew I wanted the baby, but his response solidified my love for them both. My boyfriend and I married when I was 19. I graduated from college and put my husband, my son's father, through school and he's now an engineer. All while my mom was non-existent. She never helped me learn how to take care of a newborn, nor did she financially contribute. Rarely visited when we lived an hour away. If my daughter had a baby, she would have to ask me to leave them alone. 
I would want to be helping her as much as she would let me. Our son is now 19 and in college on a full scholarship. He just got home and this is a text exchange. I sent a picture to my mum and dad and said my baby is home. And she responded with the same wording, my baby is home. Yes, I'm still bitter as hell about it. She didn't even want him to exist and had I been naive enough to listen to her, I would have lost out on one of the greatest loves of my life. I've said to her before, my baby, not yours. Oh, nice. I mean, technically it is your baby. It is not her baby. So like, you're right. Jeez. I think I'd be very petty. <laughs> Personally, I'd be like, you didn't want the kid. So you ain't seeing the kid. Bye. But that's because I know that would not be my mom. I just can't imagine having moms like that though. You know, they'll tell you that you're going to be a failure. They're not even going to like try to like encourage you or like even support you or like comfort you. They tell you that you're going to be a failure. Once you have that kid, are you kidding me? And then they're going to act like nothing happened. Oh, that's tough, dude. That is tough. Personally, I think I would confront my mom if this happened, right? Because I need that closure that she regrets what she said, <laughs> all right? I need that closure. Like, do you regret that day? Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.